second win in 24 hours in Pennsylvania Speed Week, the Tennessee transplant, Greg Hodnett. <laughs> Greg Hodnett, getting congratulations from the team. Congratulations, Gregory. Who says you can't pass on this racetrack? Don't tell me. You started, what, 16th tonight? Yeah, we were pretty far back, too far back to ever want to do it again. But the guys did a great job with the car. The track was uh, obviously challenging, but uh, in the same sense, it was uh, doable. So, I mean, there was passing going on, at least for us. So we're very fortunate to be standing up here again with the uh, Trone Outdoor Eagle Steel, Eager Evergreens, Macri Concrete, uh, Eastern Air Balance, H&H &H Journal of Excavating, Maxim, you know, the guys did a good job. I mean, Rock Pet Engines, VRP Shocks, they're running good. We just haven't been able to put it all together, so hopefully we can kind of get things going here and get in the right direction and uh, hopefully uh, carry out for the rest of the year. Well, it looks like they're getting going at the right time right here in Speed Week. You won last night down at Hagerstown. You picked up a win tonight, and this car likes money races at Port Royal this season. Yeah, I, uh, we've always loved Port Royal. We have a good time coming here, enjoy racing here as much as we can, and uh, very fortunate for us to be able to have these, these great shows to come to. Uh, we will appreciate the Port Royal management and the promotional team for all the efforts they're doing. They're working their butts off. I know they are. And uh, like we all, my dad always told me, if I'm going to work my ass off, I want everybody to work their ass off. And, and right now, I think the, the guys here are doing that, and uh, we're going to do the best job we can to put on a great show for them. We appreciate that. We can always count on you. Be an excellent spokesman for the sport and for the Speedway. And you guys work hard on this on this race car. And this Speed Week deal is a pretty grueling deal. And to be able to pick up two back to back has to be pretty gratifying. Yeah. If you would ask me where we were starting, if we had a chance, I'd probably say no. Not even chance, snowball's chance in hell. But the guys did a great job. Lee, Mike, Corey, Aaron. Everybody's uh, working hard trying to get this thing going. And uh, again, the guys just did a great job on it and uh, made it. Uh, Made it look easy, I guess you could say. Well, they got it going for you. That's, that's an understatement. Middle, top, you change lanes in the middle of the corner, slide up, catch the cushion, pass cars. And there was one restart over here. You got three cars. That was an awesome move and put you right in there to the top five. Yeah, we had, uh, we had a pretty good car running across the, the corner. Um, it just, it, you know, I had to be careful with it on the other side. But, again, the guys did a good job. We were a little tight in the heat race. And, uh, you know, the track crew came out and, and smoothed it out a ton. I mean, it was it was 10 times better than it was in the heats. They did a great job getting it uh, where you could race on it. And um, just fortunately for us, it made it smooth enough to move around a little bit. We're going to get John Trone over here and talk to him. If it wouldn't be for him, Greg wouldn't have this team going on this season. Greg and John teaming for what has become the t one of the top teams in central Pennsylvania. It has to be really gratifying to put two together up here and two in a row in the last week, in the last night, I should say. Yeah, I'm pretty happy right now. Uh, at Hagerstown, my dad didn't have a win since probably 40, couple of years. So Greg got the 39 back in victory lane. It's been an awesome run for this team. It seems like I told Greg it's, it's picking up and peaking right at the perfect time. Hopefully uh, Eldor, Knoxville coming up. Uh, hopefully we'll be ready. John Trone, the winning car owner, and we're going to get the 50-50 drawing done. We're going to let Greg draw the winning ticket. 1,600.